One million mail-in ballots have already been returned to county election offices across Pennsylvania, but hundreds of them may have been filled out incorrectly. As political editor John Delano explains, whether that can be fixed depends on which county you're in. When a voter fails to sign the outer envelope of a mail-in ballot or forgets to date it or mails in a naked ballot without the inner secrecy envelope, the rule across the state is the same. Election officials must segregate that ballot and cannot count it. But alerting mail-in voters that there is a problem, well, that's up to each individual county. Some do and some don't. We are reaching out to the voters, letting them know that there is issue. And if they um, choose to come in to, to correct them, we want to give them that opportunity. Because the bottom line is, we want to assist in every way that we can to ensure that people are having the opportunity to vote. That's Lawrence County Commissioner Loretta Spielvogel. Election officials in Lawrence, along with Allegheny and Fayette counties, call or email their voters to let them know that their ballots might be defective and then give their voters a chance to cure or fix them. While it's a relatively small number in Lawrence and Fayette counties, Allegheny County tells me they have received 194 unsigned ballots, 357 undated ballots, and 683 naked ballots that won't be counted unless voters cure them. In the past, we have cured um, ballots, but for this election, we are not curing. Washington County used to alert mail-in voters to ballot issues, but this year they joined Beaver, Butler, and Westmoreland counties in not telling their voters of defective mail-in ballots. If voters call their county election departments, officials will tell them if their ballot is defective or not. Some counties will allow their voters to fix the problem, but others will not, leaving voters the only option of voting in person with a provisional ballot. They would vote by provisional ballot. So then those would be sent for review by our return board um, to determine if the provisional ballot could be counted. Commissioner Spielvogel says a uniform state rule for all 67 counties on alerting voters and allowing for mistakes to be corrected is long overdue. It does make it difficult to not have that uniformity on what to do. Um, unfortunately, we're in the position that we're in right now. If you voted by mail and think you may have forgotten to sign, date, or use the secrecy envelope, call your elections department immediately. I have posted a link to the phone numbers of all the area offices at kdk.com. Ask them to tell you if they've received and will count your mail-in ballot. John Delano, KDKA News.